Hi, in this video I want to show you how you can use VMware to access the virtual lab. Once in there, I'll show you how you can add shortcut icons to your desktop for the two software programs we'll be using in this class. I'll also show you how you can map the network drive to access the, the location where we're going to be um, storing data and also saving data. Um, so I'll show you those three different things. I already have VMware Horizon client installed on my computer. I want you to to follow the ITS website instructions on how to do that. Once you have it installed, maybe you'll put a shortcut icon on your, your desktop as well, but I'm just going to double click on that icon. You'll see view.coloradocollege.edu, or you'll double click on that. You'll log in with your CC password. Now you may not see the same number of icons that I have here. What you're going to be looking for is this Academic Virtual Lab VLAB New. You might also see the VLAB 1, which is a slightly older version. But you're going to go to the new one and double click. And what's happening is your desktop is tunneling into this virtual lab. You're connecting with a server on campus that houses this software. At the top here, you'll notice a bar. Now I have it unpinned so it disappears when I'm not hovering, but if you want it to be left up there, you would just you know, hold the pin there. One thing I want to point out is I don't ever want you to hit this X. Um, it seems like that would close down your VLAB session. It appears as though it does that, but in fact it leaves it running behind the scenes. And if enough people do that frequently enough, you end up crashing the server. So please don't ever hit this X. Now that said, feel free to um, shrink that particular window so you can sort of see your own background um, or you can minimize as well. Um, that way you can sort of see your own um, computer in addition to the VLAB one. Now, when you are ready to log off and disconnect, I would actually just recommend going to the options here and doing the disconnect and log off there. Okay. Now, one of the things we're going to want to do is we're going to access two different software programs. So I want to show you how you can um, create shortcut icons on your desktop so it's um, easier to access those things. So for ArcMap, um, which is our GIS software, we're going to go down to the Start menu here. And in the A section, you're going to see a folder for ArcGIS. You'll click on that once. And what you're looking for is ArcMap 10.7.1. Don't do ArcGlobe, don't do ArcScene. You're looking for ArcMap. I want you to right click on that, go to More, and go to Open File Location. From there, you'll see ArcMap 10.7, there's a shortcut. If you right click on that and go to Create Shortcut, it says it can't create a shortcut here, but do you want to create a shortcut placed on the desktop and said yes. Okay, so you're good to go there. Now, for Stata, you wouldn't go through the Start menu, you'll go straight to this yellow folder on the bottom here, and you'll go to this PC. Now you all should be already connected to the library drive. It says library backslash backslash student one. I want you to double click on that. And then I want you to go to the Stata folder, which is the generic Stata folder. Double click on that. And then you'll see Stata 64, the largest one application here, 65 kilobyte. You'll right click on that and create shortcut. You'll get that same question. Do you want it to be placed on the desktop instead? Hit yes. Okay. So you should only have to do that the once. Next time you get on VLAB 1, those icons should be there and ready to go. And that way you can open up either of those programs just straight from the desktop. Now, the third thing I wanted to show you was um, connecting to VLAB 1 with your computer is not the same as connecting to the location of our data. And we're going to need to be able to connect our VLAB 1 to where we're going to house our data. So you're going to click on this yellow folder again, go to this PC, and probably what you won't see is anything that looks like students, GIS, data serve. You probably don't see that. So it probably means you've never mapped to it before. So what you'll need to do is go to computer here up at the top of the window and go to map network drive, map network drive. I'll be careful, Don't, it wants to start out by Y or whatever one. I, want, I really seriously want you to set this to S, okay? Please set it to S. Then in the folder section, you can do backslash, backslash. And again, it makes a difference which way these are angled. 
GIS data serve backslash students. And then check this box, rec reconnect it, sign in. And go ahead and hit finish. This now, it, your VLAB one session is connected to the students drive on the GIS data server. And you'll notice I have a folder here, SO130 B7 2020. If you double click to get into that, you'll see that there is a AAA data folder. That's where I'm starting to put some various data. You'll see there's a students folder and then a folder for me. In the students folder, you'll double click. And what you'll want to do is right click in there, create a new folder and give it your name. And I wouldn't uh, avoid spaces and symbols and, and things like that. Keep it simple. So in my case, I might do something like that. Um, if you want to do a, a space, I would use a underscore um, and then you hit return. Now what we're going to do over time, of course, as we play and as we work out with different data sets, you're going to want to create folders within your folder. Don't just be saving stuff into one big folder. It's going to become really messy really fast. So you're going to want to maintain a really good file directory once we start playing along. Okay, so that's how you do things. Now, when you're again, when you're ready to um, sign off, go to options and disconnect and log off. And then I was told this isn't necessary, but I always just go the further step and click on this little unplug sign to log off the server. And then you can X out. Okay, that's it.